Guys, I'm gonna show you a really cool trick with Smash Machine Chamfer and by default when you are using this tool and you're gonna use it on a regular edge like this you may think that Mesh Machine is broken because it does this but it's not broken, it's simply not the way to use this chamfer tool you wanna use it on a cyclic loop, okay, so something like this but this is not the best way, you know, to use it, you can just click Ctrl B and you're done so how this chamfer works actually, right? Let's grab a quad sphere and go to the side view. Let's go with box cutter, um, circle cut. I'm gonna cut it through here. I'm gonna select the sphere, press Y and stash the normals of the sphere. Select the cutter and the sphere one more time and stash it again. Now I'm going to apply the cutter, all right? And now the magic happens, check this out. So if I click on this edge here, right? I can go to Y menu and just align myself like this. So you see what I mean? align myself like this here and I'm going to go as a chamfer and I can go really deep okay if I go really deep a few interesting things will happen right so first of all you see that we're sliding on the loops you want to press Q to stop sliding the loops to stop deforming the loops inside of the cut here you see if I press Q they're gonna get deformed so you want to stop the loop sliding that's one then you press W to you know to lock the width and let's just analyze it right we got this edge outside which goes through the mesh and it messes up everything, right? We also got this topology which is overlapping, so this is a disaster, so we have to fix it. So the way to fix it is very simple. You hold control and you switch to replace, but you need to also switch the edge you're working on. So if you scroll your mouse, you switch to the outside edge, right? Then you hold control and you switch to replace. Then you hold alt and you scroll outside to replace this mesh and you click. Now everything is great, but we got this volcano, you know, it kind of looks like an ulcer, right? So we have to bring this edge down and kind of conform it to the surface of the sphere. Well, the good thing is that we stash the normals of the sphere, so you can press W, go to conform tool, and, you know, and you can choose between these two. Obviously, you want to go with the, with the sphere, and you can also choose different options in here, for example, you know, you can hold control and scroll between uh, target and project depends on on the cut you know just choose whichever is better for you you got other options but this time i'm just gonna click it and now uh, you know everything is peachy then all you need to do basically is clean up this mess here in the middle because there's a lot of mess which we could do actually technically right we could select this circle and basically go with um, loop tools and space them so we're gonna have a really nice, you know, kind of an even, even circle. We'll do the same thing here and space them. And you don't even have to clean them, okay? If you wanna conform it again, that's fine. You can grab this and conform it again. And if the circle got distorted for, for some reason, you can, you know, always go to um, loop tools and circle, and it's going to fix it into a perfect circle here. Then you're gonna grab this line here and go into Y menu and conform, and again, conform to the shape and you're good to go. And now you got a, you know, perfect surface here to build your um, bevels, chamfers, whatever the hell you want, right? Let's just fix this one too. So we're going to space it, whoa, uh, just select this one, okay? Okay, uh, let's go to verts. We're gonna space it one more time. We're gonna run a circle, okay? And I get a perfect circle. And then we can just grab this one and bevel this, right? Perfect. So now we got that. Now, last thing, the shading is still messed up because if I go to Matcap, you'll see we have a messed up shading, but we can do the normal transfer trick. So we're gonna simply select everything to remove all the mark, uh, mark sharp edges. We're gonna select this loop outside here, Control plus twice. We're gonna Shift Alt click these to deselect them. Okay, you don't want to have bevels included in your normal transfer because they basically go in inside of the mesh they carry in differently and they are not going to conform to the normals of the sphere so you're gonna mess it up so you're gonna remove them then you go here to normals you go to transfer you select obviously the sphere cutter and you click and check out the shading everything is perfect and that's how you work with chamfer in mesh machine now, this is an add-on workflow, and in order to get better with add-ons, you need to understand the basics of Blender. So if you're a beginner or intermediate, I highly recommend you grab our course, the Hard Surface Accelerator, which is going to teach you in just two weeks, not more than 30 minutes a day, everything you need to know about Blender, all the tools, the whole workflow, modeling, rendering, creating your first portfolio piece, including 
the training on principles of design, which is going to help you to become better artists and better at understanding what is actually good art and what is not so good. And this is going to give you super solid foundations for hot service in Blender. We have over 4,000 students, close to 5,000 students right now in the program, and they absolutely love it. You can read all the testimonials on our website. We have close to 1,000 testimonials and people just love it. So grab the course and enjoy. The link is in the video description and in a comment pinned under the video. And if you're more advanced and you want to work with add-ons, then I would recommend you grab our ultimate guide to hard ops and box cutter because that course is simply fucking tits. Thanks for watching. I'll see you later.